This week, a local lab started offering finger prick testing for coronavirus antibodies, a way, they say, to tell if someone already has had the virus. The test is not FDA approved or studied. However, uh, the FDA has loosened up the rules, allowing labs to go forward with this kind of testing. But many first responders are not buying in. We spoke with the area's leading infectious disease specialist to find out why. I spoke to the county earlier today and they feel very strongly this, it, they have the same interpretation. There is just no clear understanding of how effective these tests are, if there's cross-reactivity. We know that there's people that have disease that haven't developed these antibodies. We have no idea the meaning of the antibodies. I would be very reluctant to recommend that anybody have this test right now. Dr. Alan Radner is chief medical officer and an infectious disease specialist at Salinas Valley Memorial Hospital. He knows that these kinds of quick antibody tests being administered by private labs, including this one in Monterey, are popular because people want to know, desperate to know, if they have had the virus. But he says at this point, there is no data on accuracy or whether or not the presence of antibodies actually means immunity. He points to HIV as an example. People with HIV have antibodies. They have tons of antibodies. It doesn't mean a single thing. People die of HIV with antibodies. It doesn't mean they're immune. Even so, there is widespread use of these quick tests in other countries, and certainly the lab in Monterey is busy. But for the scientists like Dr. Radner, they want more information, more data on accuracy and what it ultimately means. We're optimistic that these will be helpful tools as we go forward, but there's a lot of uncertainty about this. Right now, there is one antibody test that has been approved by the FBA, uh, FDA, just one, but it is a test that actually draws blood and then sends it to a laboratory for analysis.